organized organization swings into action. It may be called the state police, state troopers, militia, the rangers, or the highway patrol. These are the stories of the men whose training, skill, and courage have enforced and preserved our state laws. The day-by-day -day job of law enforcement agencies is the protection of the public and crime prevention. But on those occasions when trouble does they must meet violence with violence, gunfire with gunfire. Such a flare-up took place last May 8th in the small town of Marionville. As a gunfight was taking place on West Marion Avenue in the industrial section, a secretary during the shots called the highway patrol. Send the ambulance to our 1020. We'll wait here. Stand by. Tell the road box, blue two-door sedan, out-of-state plates. Addition to that APB, a blue two-door sedan, out-of-state plates. 10-4? 10 10-4. Did you get his name? No, he hadn't said anything yet. Well, the other guy's dead. Maybe we'd better forget the dope, Pat. Huh? Not over 100 grand we don't forget. The police are in it now. So what? We'll still get it. Look, the roadblocks are going up right now. Like a noose. We won't get out if we hang around. We won't try. We'll stay right inside the circle of roadblocks. Yeah. Think Krauss has had it? You saw him. What do you think? He took it right in the chest. They might get him to talk. I don't think so. What about Jordan? He never made it to the hospital. We never made it to the money. We'll make it. Just follow through with the rest of the plan. The wife. Yeah. She'll tell us by the time we get through with it. OK. So we go after the money. How? The cops are going to find out where they live, just the way we did. They'll call on Glory to tell about Jordan. She'll never mention the money. When she finds out he's dead, she'll know we found him. She'll get the dough, skip, find a new hideout. And we'll be waiting for her. Doc just called on the wounded man. His name's Krauss. He's got a perforated lung, spinal damage, and about one chance in ten. Boys get anything out of him? He said he kept muttering something about a spank job and a double cross. Record show anything on the dead guy? They're checking the photo and prints now. Okay, thanks. Oh, driver's license, sir. Paul Jordan, Route 3, River Road. That must be his wife. Yeah. What the boys got out of Krauss means anything. Mrs. Jordan's going to have company. Yeah, go ahead. Right. Paul Jordan's name is Paul Jesse. He has a record. He served a two and a five, both for armed robbery. He was paroled two years ago. Well, so far, two and two makes four. Let's go call on Mrs. Jesse, and I'll bet you lunch she wants to be called Mrs. Jordan. If the boys got anything on those open bank robberies, let me know. Right.
Maybe we'd better go in now. No, it's risky. The cops might be there. I didn't see any police cars. I saw a car standing right by the side of the house. Police sometimes use unmarked cars. Yeah, you're right. Besides, we'll need time to talk to her. We might do better with her if we get her someplace else. Police. What if she spills to them? Oh, she won't say nothing. She won't get rid of the money that easy. Look. Good thing we didn't go in. Let's get out of here. They spotted this car when we got Jordan. Yeah, okay. Okay. Listen, when the cops make a move, she'll make her move. And we'll be waiting for her, huh? Matthews, Highway Patrol. This is Sergeant Williams. All right. What do you want? Well, we want to come in. Oh, well, we've got bad news for you. Your husband's been shot and killed. There was a gunfight with three men. Look, you could help us. How? Well, we know your husband's record. We know his real name. We also know about the money. What money? I don't know anything about any money. We know about the $100,000 bank job. We know you and your husband ran off with it. There's nothing to talk about. You haven't got anything on me, and you know it. You're going to have some visitors. And they're going to get that money away from me any way they can. Thanks, but I can take care of myself. The money's got to be returned. Leave your card. If I find any money, I'll call you. I'm sorry about your husband. Let me know when you want to make arrangements about the body. Let's go, Ken. You know, it was kind of strange. I don't think I've ever seen a woman act like that before. I hit her pretty hard. She'll do her share of crime. Do we stake out in that house we passed? Yeah. 2150 to headquarters. Headquarters by. There's a house on River Road. The agent's name is Meisner. He's in Marionville. We want to use it as a stakeout. Clear with the agent and get back to me. 10-4? 10-4. Let's go. I haven't got time to get permission. Get that back door open. See if you can see the Jordan farm from there. Twenty-one fifty to headquarters. Headquarters by. Pull them in on roving detail inside the circle. I want two men free to move inside the roadblock. Right. Now I just talked to the real estate agent Meisner. You're clear to enter the house and use it. Ten four. Ten four. These glasses ought to be able to cover that Jordan house pretty well. I wonder if she knew about the money or did Jordan keep it to himself? Well, the check we ran on the bank showed he had just an average checking account about what you expect for a small farmer. Well, he couldn't bank 100000 The bank had asked questions. They'd tip off the tax boys. Ken, we know they bought a farm last year. We know they changed their name. Now, if she knows about the money, she also knows three other people are looking for it. Four eyes are better than two. Give me a look, will you?
I don't understand it. That police car got there in a hurry. Yeah, but they don't have to duck other police cars or roadblocks. So now we wait for Gloria to make a run for it. You'll sit up there at the... Come here. You'll sit up there at that phone booth. I'll get in my car, and I'll go to the phone booth on the other road out of there. She'll have to pass one of us. When she does, we call. She'll be moving fast. She knows he's dead and who did it. Yeah. And remember, she'll have a gun. Yeah, I know. I wonder how she handled the cop. Oh, she handled him all right. She's real great with that deadpan stuff. I used to have quite a yen for her myself. Listen. If you'll get any ideas of taking her along, forget it. She'll kill you the first chance she gets. Almost worth it. Move closer to the house. Dermot's on his way. What do you even cross? He's still unconscious. I'd like to get a description of his buddies. All I got is height and build. I'll get back to you later. Maybe we ought to arrest Mrs. Jordan. Get a search warrant to take that place apart. We'll do that as a last resort. Hey, you know something? We could look for that money for a year and not find it. Yeah, I guess she's got about 50 or 60 acres there, and it could be buried anywhere. Yeah. At least this way, everybody's headed for the same thing. Ken, I got a hunch nobody's gonna walk away and leave $100,000. You think Mrs. Jordan will try to get away with it? Well, I hope so. Maybe she's never heard the expression, you can't take it with you. Her husband sure didn't. Gloria Jordan, with $100,000 in her possession, knew there were people who wanted that money the police, and the men who killed her husband. She had to get away from both. You know, I must have figured this wrong. I thought sure the two guys would be here by now and Mrs. Jordan would try and run. Get in touch with Garvey, have him get us a search warrant. We might need it. 3016 headquarters. Gloria Jordan's idea, the government. Mail the money to herself. General delivery, Chicago. Anyone watching would never figure she'd mail $100,000 from a rural mailbox. Here's my number here. When I get to my spot, I'll call you. I'll give you my number. Just put a package in the mailbox. We're not going to need that search warrant. What do you think is in the package? What you'd least expect, $100,000.
At Kenji, turn north. Call headquarters. Have them move the roadblock to intersection 64. I'm going to give her enough room in case she wants to double back. Clean things up in here. 3016 headquarters. Postal boys later. Let's go, but don't get too close. Just pass me. Get going. Drop the gun. Drop dead, Joe. We can talk this over. Like you talked with Paul? You got hard-nosed about it. Pulled out a gun, gave us a hard time. Just give me a target, baby. We can split the money. Sorry. Paul and I decided not to split. Now that he's out of the deal, it's all mine. Okay, back to the car, baby. Oh, you won't get the money. You'll tell us. Oh, no, Joe. We earned that dope. You're hiding out in this stinking hole. Like I told you, we've got nothing but time. You'll tell us. Now get walking. The cops called on me. How far do you think you'll get? We know all about the roadblocks, honey. But you're not going anywhere. We got a nice spot all picked out so we can work you over where nobody will give us any trouble for as long as it takes. Why don't you do it the easy way? What do you do now, wise guy? Shut up. Big man. Wasn't scared of the cops, and now they're walking down your throat. Maybe. Maybe not. Blake's on his way. Those boys might be in for a big surprise. Where are the cops now? I don't know. But I wish Blake was here. We better get at it. I'm afraid we're gonna have company. Drop your guns and come on out. Get back in your car and beat it! You're not going anywhere. Okay, but that was a cop, Joe. In a minute, there'll be a million of them. Shut up. The 
If I get over to the other side, I should be able to get behind him without their spotting. Go to it. I'll give him something to worry about. Where's your buddy? How should I know? All right, get moving. All right, Mrs. Jordan. Safety, stay right here. You can't get far with those hands cuffed. <laughs> Drop the gun. Get it start. Okay, I got him. Put your hands behind you. Didn't work, did it? No. <laughs> Wise guys, big operator. Shut up. I notice you're not going anyplace. Yeah, and I'm not in for a murder rap either. Jordan, you mind if I open this? Yes, I do mind. That's federal mail. Oh, it is, huh? All right, let's go talk to the postal inspector. Oh, Williams, you're out of uniform. patrol again next week. Until then, remember, if you care to drive, drive with care. This is Bradley Crawford saying, see you next week. Later tonight at 7, Judy Garland kicks up her heels in the MGM musical Strike Up the Band with Mickey Rooney around to lend support. Tonight on Channel 27, 7 o'clock movie.